Good morning, NLCS Abaya, and welcome to my assembly about passion. I would like to speak to you a little bit about my passion, which is sport and, of course, football, and my journey throughout this time. I will also be wearing a couple of different football jerseys, so see how many you can name. I passionately believe that sport is not just about winning and losing. It's about the journey to the win, to the lose, to the championship, to the performance, whatever that may be. And where I grew up in Yorkshire, hard work was a huge part of football. Throughout the decades, football has shown us that it can do the most wonderful things, including bringing two countries together. So North and South Korea played each other for the first time in 29 years in Pyongyang. And I believe the score was 1-0, but that wasn't important. The, the fact is that those two countries came together in peace and played a game of football. Major sporting events often put um, countries, big countries and small countries together. And this particular country hosted the 2002 World Cup. This particular country is not very successful at um, football. And in the re recent Women's World Cup, they had a huge defeat against the eventual winners of the team. But this didn't stop the country from coming together and showing their appreciation for both the women's national team and the men's national team. The South American countries between them have won a massive seven World Cups. And this particular team has arguably produced the greatest ever World Cup male player. A nice easy one to finish. This particular country, I believe that everybody either watches, plays, plays um, football and it is a part of their culture in every city, in every town in the country. OK, that's enough of that. Right, you have seven jerseys to try and figure out. So send an email from your form tutor if you can name all seven or if you think you can name all seven. OK, so I'm going to share my screen with you now. OK, so I've already stated that sport is not just about winning and losing. It is so much more important than that. And passion and commitment is one of the, the most important traits. And hopefully you could probably spot me on this picture. This was taken 10 years ago. I know it looks like it was taken yesterday. But some of the girls on this picture absolutely embody that passion and commitment. And some of them have gone on to represent their countries or to represent their, their local counties. And as you can see, the next generation is already starting um, with that little girl in the corner. So failure equals resilience. And what I mean by that is you cannot have resilience without failing first. And so, so often we are scared of failing or fear of, we fear the failure. And it's important that we put ourselves in those positions, that we take risks, to allow us to get even better at sport. Failure really speeds up the process and those students that really put themselves out there usually learn the fastest. So during this sports day, you're gonna be doing lots of different events. It's slightly different this year. And I want to see lots of you failing, but also lots of you succeeding. Teamwork, friendship and respect. Football really, you can't win a football match with just one player despite some of you thinking that with certain football players like Mo Salah or Cristiano Ronaldo. It's important that you have that, that every player knows their role, that you have that friendship, you have that bond. And with the teamwork and the friendship comes respect. And I think in sport, respect is definitely something that is earned the more that we do. Respect for professional athletes. Um, Malcolm Gladwell states that it takes 10,000 hours of deliberate practice to achieve success. And this is not just in sport, this is any profession. Um, but when you think of those 10,000 hours and you think of those professional athletes, think about how many things they would have sacrificed to get to that level. It's not just the sake of going and training, it's about all the people surrounding them that allows them to get to that level. So when you do see a professional athlete, no matter what your opinion of them, at least give them that respect because they've sacrificed so much to get to that level. And as you get older, so we have the under 13s there, some of them are, are growing up pretty quickly. Um, your knowledge of the game will improve and that will only make you better and more um, lifelong learners. The bigger picture in the wider community, this is one of my favourite pictures. It shows 10 of our NLCS students that helped out in the community football 
club that we have um, here in Dubai. And if you want to get involved in that, please do let me um, let me know. But as you get older, there will be opportunities to help your wider community in school and out of school. I really urge you to give something back and help the next generation um, grow their passion for football or sport. And I just want you to leave you with this um, picture of Alex Morgan. So she is, in my opinion, one of the best footballers on the planet, male and female. She currently plays for Spurs. She's over here from the States and she has won two World Cups with the, the USA national team. She's a, a centre midfielder who works incredibly hard on and off the ball and her, her confidence, her precision, 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 I can't say it. Um, and her skill level is absolutely fantastic. So what do I want you to take from this assembly? Sport is not just about winning and losing. It is about your commitment, your teamwork, your resilience, both on and off the pitch. What do you do when they, no one else is looking? Do you have an excuse um, to not go to training or do you work hard and attend every single training and do more on and off the pitch? So this sports day, what we want to see is your commitment to your house. You try in your best, whether you come in first or last, it doesn't matter. As long as you're trying your best, you're showing your commitment to your house and your team, that is the most important thing. So if you have correctly identified the seven shirts that were uh, shown at the beginning of this assembly, please do get your form tutor to send me, the, send me them across. The first team, the first tutor group with the correct answers will get a special bonus prize. Um.